if you feel at any point you're having major side effects. Get yourself straight to A&E. How you been? I've got a story to tell you. I was away and I got a really bad pain in my toe and I thought, bit of gout, I'll right. take some painkillers, it'll go away. And it got worse and worse and worse. And I had to phone 111 in the end because this knee swelled up to this big, this foot swelled up to this big. Oh. And I got an emergency appointment with the local doctor and he yeah. said that it was gout and it caused an infection. So he's given me antibiotics and... <laughs> Gosh, yeah, so you, it's not how you want to spend your holidays, really, is it? No, it is. How, is it improving now? Yeah, I can put my shoes on now. <laughs> I can walk. Let's see if, um, if the blood pressure is... I have to go under. I can't roll the sleeve up. <laughs> there we are. OK, so nice and relaxed if you can. OK. Yeah, it is really quite high today. Um, you're not having any kind of visual disturbances, headaches? I did have... I've had a headache for the last three days. OK. Um, I'll put it down to the weather, cos it's going to... You know, people say, oh, it's going to rain, so you get a headache. Yeah. The blood pressure. Being so high is a concern, obviously, putting you at risk. I am just going to run it past the doctor. Right, I won't be a moment, OK? Can I ask you a quick question about this gentleman? Um, it's a patient I've been seeing for his blood pressure. He's 39. Yeah. He's had a really bad bout of gout in his foot and yeah. his knee. I've done his blood pressure today. What were the readings like? 175 over 125. He says he's not getting a headache apart from at four o'clock in the morning that wakes him up and then it subsides over the day. That worries me. Good afternoon, Hall Green Health Centre. Lorraine speaking. Can I help you? Did you go to A&E? No. We have more patients coming through here than A&E. So it is going to be a trip down to the hospital to have it x-rayed. So that's when I phoned the ambulance? Yeah. The best course of action will be for you to go to A&E. You're saying that your whole body hurts or aches. The only concern I have is she was seen in A&E on Sunday. Normally the practice is to go to A&E. Never go to A&E on a bank holiday in Monday. <laughs> OK, yeah, so I've spoken to the doctor. Because of the headaches and how high the blood pressure is, you need to head down to A&E. A&E? Yeah. What they'll probably do is just monitor it for a bit, and if it comes down, then fine, but if not, they probably will want to investigate why it's so, so high. It's my first day back at work today after holiday, so... <laughs> oh, bless you. Thank you. All right. Okay. It's just best to rule, rule anything of any concern out. Is that OK? Yes, thank you. That's what one patient told me, I swear to God. When I said, OK, it's a personal question because it will depend on whether I can give you the medication, which one I can give you, is um, when did you actually have sexual intercourse? And um, they looked at each other and they giggled. And I went, what? I said, I know it's personal, but I have to know. And he went, I don't know, maybe like about seven minutes. And I went, oh, no, 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 no. I don't mean how long. And then they started laughing. I went, what time you actually had it? And he went, oh, oh, OK, yeah. It was something like two in the morning or something. I thought, you should have been asleep at two in the morning. Well, you're smiling now, Rosie, but you wait till you see my results. Overall, yes, your sugar levels have gone up. Mm -hmm. So in terms of HbA1c, yeah. last time they were around 62. Mm -hmm. This time they've crept up to 67. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a huge increase. But ideally, I'd like to try and keep your sugar levels around the 58 mark, which is about seven and a half. So a normal sugar range is between 20 and 41. Mm -hmm. Diabetes is diagnosed at 48, and so coming in at 67, yeah, we are high. a bit over here. Am I in a massively high risk at the moment of heart attack? And, or, uh, you know, if I do something now, will it 
you know. So really going forward from here, my options would be, yes, go away for three months, work really hard, see if you could get these sugar levels down. Mm. If you came here and said, you know what, I'm doing absolutely everything that I can. That's true. Yeah. Then I'd have a slightly different... Yeah, in all honesty now, I haven't done anything. Except so I've been working about 10 hours a day and I start at three in the morning. I can, I can sort that out pretty quickly. What about your diet? Terrible, I'm afraid. What should I have during the day? Because I drive. I would probably just try and say, take something that you feel is going to be fulfilling but is not maybe really high in carbohydrates. Yeah, I did, and I hated it. I took for three days, I took some lumps of cheddar cheese yeah. some, and some olives. Yeah. And for the first two days, I loved it. The third day, I was sick of it. Yeah. You know those sort of packs of chicken legs? Would they be all right? Because I, I can eat those all day. So the protein, yeah, would probably be better than the carbohydrates. But I would probably say salad bowls. I'm a 19 stone, 60 year old git. I actually think that if, if the weight came down, you, your sugars and your cholesterol would probably would, be fine. I'm an idiot to myself. And I'm only telling you the truth. You know, mm. something comes on, the cricket's on, the football's on, the rug. Oh, we've got rugby on Saturday. Got Australia versus New Zealand, so and so. Then it's the test match. Then it's England in the afternoon. Then it's a curry. Then I'll probably have a Chinese about eight o'clock. Then some scones jam for about 10 o'clock. Then we'll go out for a midnight snack. And then we'll go out for a harvester in the morning, a full breakfast. Probably go out for a Burger King. And on the way back, pick up uh, some Kentucky for the evening. And that, that's pretty good. No, I know. Honestly. You almost broke down in tears then, didn't you? Well, the thing I'm, is, I'm really I think, like I said, you know, the only person that you're kidding is... Is myself, is I, I know that. And I would say, I can give you all the information yeah, yeah. in the world. Yeah. You walk out this door today, you have two options to go, oh, yeah, forget that, I'm carrying it. Or you go, oh, OK, OK, it might not be great, but if it means I'm um, good all week and Friday, I can have my curry, mm. then do mm. it. Yeah, I know. Rosie? Thank you for your time. I'm taking up far too much of no, your time. Not at all. Any problems in the next three months, you start to feel really tired all the time, you're feeling thirsty, you're passing your urine more frequently. These are all signs that your sugar levels have really gone up okay. and your body is really struggling. Diabetes is a that. progressive disease okay, yeah. and I want to control it now so that that progression doesn't reach what it possibly could if we just let it run it, of course. Well, I have to go because my... Vermicelli Singapore noodles Very are nice. arriving. Small portion of noodles, handful. Rosie, it's been an absolute delight. You've brought a ray of sunshine into my day. Oh, good. I'll see you in three months. Okay, take care. See you. All right, then. All done. All right, take care. Have a good day. And you, bye. 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 <laughs> take care, now. Look here, Ed. Thank you. Look here, Ed. You know where you're going. Yeah.